so all right guys this side arav and you're watching adri creators youtube channel so in this video i'll be coming back with the powerful room which is a custom room for redmi note 10 pro as you also can tell it's sweet so this is the lineage os 20 version and it is an official and it is based on stable android 13 with qp r r 3.1 update so ever you can see that you get the latest security update of 5th may and the vendor patch security of 1st march it is based on ql kernel with a 16th wednesday 20 april 26 built over there and the build date as you can see that may 3rd now i have been using this from the 2 to 2 days and i will giving its full and complete review about talking about the battery and everything so if you are new to this channel and watches content regarding to this you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not so let's start it to the video so first of all talking about guys this is the 120 hertz enable display and you can see that the overall smoothness of the device when i was using this device and currently now also there is no lag with the stutters over there even as those cross the qs panel there is no issues with that and you get a must pure level of smoothness that you can't expect even on the pixel experience room itself also now talking about that now let's talk about the customization so we all know that lineage os provides a little bit of customization but not much of the customization like another rooms so first of all i would like to share from the systems option you get the buttons options and you all know about these settings this is the system profiles option and this is not a new thing status bar option so all the things were working fine i have double cross checked over these things and then you get the updater official updater over there this is an official rom but whenever the new update will come you get the of uh, update over there and you can manually flash this over there but in my recommendation use normal clean flash method to avoid any such kind of bugs or that now already been covering about the customization part let's dig in to now guys already talked about much more about customization now let us dig in and uh, see how the benchmarks were performing in this device so i have took some of the screenshots over there so i will share all the things about these so first of all this is what do you say and to do benchmark and you get to see the 3 lakh 22000 390 scores and this is a pretty good score not a bad score over there over coming to gpu this is the 97384 score which is all the good and there is a slight increase in the temperature over the 6 degree celsius and a 2% battery drop is been reported as you all can see over there now talking about that this is the wildlife score with the 1117 with its average fps of 6.70 and this is a slingshot test as you can already see that this is a wildlife test again 285 and this is the security l1 certification and you are getting over there so you are not getting any sort of issues with the security of widevine l1 the the streaming of the full hd content over the netflix is also available now talking about the safety net is dust passed all along so there isn't any issues over the safety net now talking about the google photo spoofing there is a photo spoofing also present over there this pack pixel can back up unlimited photos videos at no extra charges now the device certification is also been there so device is fully certified and i have took the wildlife score again first of all here is the first wildlife score that you can see that this is a 1117 score and this is again the score you can see that 119 the increase slight increase in the because i use the optimization profile and after many what do you say months you are getting the optimization profiles working this is the ideal drop of 1.2% per hour and the deep sleep as you can see that so battery is overall good in my usage if i tell you about the battery settings not talk let's talk about the bad thermal profiles over there so these were working in the battery user section you can see that i have used everything and there isn't any issues over the battery usage also this is the display section and it is full of the all the customizations dc dimming is there you can enable it or disable it according to your users one body hurts feels super smooth the ambient display is there always on does works so there isn't any issues over the always on display so ever now talking about that this is a now playing option which is working and no issues with that you don't need to install the sazam application over there and all the things were working fine quite of things this is the wallpaper and styles option you can see that theme icon support is also there and it applies instantly now talking about much more this is the security option and guys if you still watching the video please give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to this channel if you really like the content and quality this is the face and fingerprint unlock option this is present so it has been working over there this is the system of options that i already talked about much more 
so there is nothing new to talk about the overall the stability of this device's performance is too good so you not getting any sort of issues now let's talk about the leica camera support so we are getting the leica camera support over there in the video option you can see that you get the full what do you say 4k 30 fps support pro mode with the video also everything is working fine as there isn't any issue this is the what you say i can say overall full package custom rom which which have everything that you want so far you get the device certified you run can run banking apps easily no issues now should i recommend this custom rom to you all or not yes i can highly recommend this custom rom or any of the custom rom right available right now for this device because it provides damn good performance the smooth smoothness customization stability and the banking app support is also been there so i can highly recommend this with one more important thing that like a camera which means mui camera without any green tint so if you really did enjoyed watching this video give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to this channel so i'll be going to meet you in the next video till then bye bye